Despite having one of the best gaming and productivity processor lineup, Intel is committed to launch new CPUs every year. It has been hardly one year since the launch of 13 Gen Raptor Lake CPUs and Intel has already made up its mind to release next gen CPUs before this year ends. And this has been confirmed by some motherboard vendors already that have prepared their already existing motherboards and even some upcoming boards to support these new CPUs. However, these chips come with some serious power that is forcing new motherboards to adapt and overcome. The story originates a few days back when Gigabyte faced some serious trouble because there was apparently a backdoor to its motherboard firmware that could easily get malware installed on users' computers. It was surely an urgent matter which Gigabyte fixed quickly, but that also revealed a few things that the company is up to. In order to fix the possible vulnerabilities, Gigabyte released a new BIOS firmware for its Intel 600 and 700 chipset motherboards, but that came with a third point that says the F23A BIOS supports and powers up Intel next generation processor. According to the reports, Gigabyte motherboards are now ready to support 14 gen processors, which some might think are Meteor Lake CPUs, but in fact these are supposedly the Raptor Lake refresh as several leaks have pointed to Intel dropping the idea to bring Meteor Lake to the desktop. This is most likely going to be the case because Meteor and Arrow Lake CPUs were designed to fit on LG1851 socket, while the Raptor Lake refresh family will be only compatible with LG1700 socket. That said, currently Gigabyte is the only company that has made the next-gen CPU support available on its existing motherboards, but that doesn't mean that other AIBs are sitting idle. In a very recent press release, ASRock has also announced some new Z790 Phantom Gaming motherboards that explicitly states that these motherboards will support even more power-hungry future CPUs. Coincidentally, Raptor Lake refresh CPUs are the only ones that are rumored to feature significantly higher clock speeds than the existing 13 gen CPUs and we are talking about frequencies that reach up as high as 6.2 to 6.5 GHz. So that definitely requires these CPUs to consume more power than ever. And considering that i9-13900KS processor can reach close to 300 watts, we can expect the new flagship CPU to surpass this number quite easily. This will definitely come with a big problem of overheating and you would probably need a custom liquid loop if you want to stay below 90 degrees Celsius. Hence, ASRock already made preparations for its new motherboards by bringing even more powerful VRMs that feature up to 22 power phases. Meanwhile, there are some great benefits too. The Phantom Gaming series is officially bringing support for the Wi-Fi 7, which quite honestly is too overkill for most users, except if you work at NASA. This means that the upgraded Z790 motherboards from other AIBs are around the corner and most of them will have superior VRMs and Wi-Fi 7 support natively. Now before we move on to the next update, please consider subscribing to the channel if you are new here because I spend several hours every day just to bring the most interesting stuff to you. It will support the channel immensely especially when we have already crossed the first milestone of 4000 watch hours and we are very close to completing the first 1000 subscribers. And moving on, if you think AMD is not releasing any new stuff for AM5, then this is probably history as AMD just released a new chipset driver that adds support for Ryzen 7045HX processors on the desktop. If you don't know, the Ryzen 7045HX is the premium high-end Zen 4 based CPUs exclusively for laptops. Therefore, adding support for these CPUs on the desktop is unusual, especially when there is no need since Ryzen 7000 CPUs with better specs are already available. The 7045HX CPUs don't have any good advantage over the desktop CPUs, but according to some rumors, these CPUs are not going to be sold separately, but will be instead released for small factor systems that come with motherboards without any discrete chipset. So these chips are supposedly going to end up in Minis Forum Mini ITX boards that support 16 core Dragon range as well as 24 core Raptor Lake HX laptop CPUs. These boards use BGA for CPU installation unlike the LGA platforms where you can take out the CPU off the socket. So essentially AMD is not limiting its laptop CPUs to just mobile devices and unlike the 7045HX family, we may actually see the Ryzen 7040 Phoenix APUs on the AM5 platform as seen in one of the Gigabyte's leaked tables. Basically, if this comes out to be true, then AMD is going to have an advantage over Intel which has cancelled Meteor Lake CPUs on the desktop that were supposedly bringing the same level of IGP performance as as Phoenix Point. And finally, we have the official announcement by NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang that the green team is sourcing its next-gen GPUs from TSMC. As reported by Reuters, NVIDIA feels perfectly safe for its GPU manufacturing by TSMC in Taiwan even though there is a risk of military threats by China. Jensen said that when NVIDIA was having its supply chain discussions, they were feeling perfectly safe. But to be on the safer side, they are having a lot of diversity to fulfill the demands of their clients. As we know from various reports, TSMC and Intel have been building their 
Fabs in Arizona and Nvidia supposedly sourcing its next-gen data center GPUs from Intel while sticking to TSMC for its mainstream desktop graphics cards. At Computex, Nvidia revealed that its Hopper Next GPUs are going to arrive in 2024 and will be probably codenamed Blackwell, unlike we previously assumed that Blackwell will be the mainstream gaming graphics cards. If you enjoyed the video, then watch this one right here where I talk about the secret power of Meteor Lake CPUs that is overwhelming. Also, don't forget to hit the like button if you found the video informative and subscribe for more stories like these. Make sure to turn on the notifications to never miss any latest uploads to the channel and I will see you in the next one.